In Dragonfly, with the help of Volume Rendering Engine, we are able to present an image stack as a volume in 3D. Very often, we want to show the actual size of a volume by either a scale bar or 3D grid and tick marks. This video is to show you how to do this in Dragonfly 4.1 and later versions. We all know the clip box can be used for clipping the volume in 3D. When the clip box button is checked, we can see a box around the volume. And when we move the mouse to a face of the box, we can click and drag this face to clip the volume. If the mouse isn't on top of any face, the click and drag will spin the volume. This clip box can also be used to present the 3D axis and grid. When we check this axis option, we'll see the three axes, X, Y, and Z. When we check the grid lines option, we see the grid. And if we change the label from none to ticks three axis, we see the ticks on all three axes. Changing the grid size will also change how many ticks on each axis. Which axis is used to show the ticks is automatically decided by the program according to the best visibility of these ticks. But if you check the lock text option, the text will be locked to the current axis and won't change anymore. We could also show the length instead of the ticks on each axis. Please try different combinations of these options to get the one you like the best. If you don't want to show the center point of the clip box, or you don't want to drag the faces for clipping, you can simply click the, the empty space in this list to deselect the dataset. Then you can still see the clip box borders, but you don't see the center point, and the faces won't change to clipping mode when you move the mouse on them. Now we go through the preferences where you can change the color of this three axis and the color or font size of the ticks. All the colors used in the UI of Dragonfly are grouped in this color section. We see these colors related to clip box are right here. The 3D settings has a section for clip box and here we can set up if you want to show grid lines, border, axis, and ticks by default when the program starts up. And as well as the axis size and the ticks found and its size. Please make changes until everything fits the specific needs for your presentation. Remember, most of the changes made in preferences require a restart of the program to take effect. Another way to show the size of a volume is to use a single scale bar, which is grayed out now because my 3D view is currently in the perspective mode. In this mode, the object looks smaller when it moves further from our eyes. So a single scale bar isn't possible because we don't know how deep where the measurement is taken. But this mode is to mimic how we see the real world. So the presentation of the volume looks more real to our eyes. When we check this orthographic projection option, the 3D view will be changed to orthographic mode where the scale doesn't change with the depth so now we have the scale bar. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to leave your comments or questions. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.